Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm John Paul and this is The Seated Gun. So guys, following lots and lots of emails from you at home, lots and lots of comments on our Insta and on our YouTube channel, Everyone's been asking us how we prepare for our season, what equipment we use, and how we go about getting ready. So today, we're gonna to tell you all about it. Hope you enjoy. So guys, you can't go very far when you're shooting without a gun. Now, everything equipment-wise is very much a preference, and it's very much a choice that every gun makes to their own desired requirements. For me personally, I always shoot with over and unders. I have tried side-by-side, -side, and of course side-by-side -side is much more the traditional, the very much the, the old-fashioned way of shooting game, and it's still really popular today, and there are some stunning side-by-side -side guns available, but for me, I am an over and under guy. Um, I prefer a multi-choke gun, uh, and the reason I do that is because I shoot all over the country, birds at different heights, different type of ranges, etc. And so having a multi-choke just enables me to change it around, so it basically can help me do what I want it to do. I shoot Beretta 687 double L Classics. Um, I have a pair of them. Um, what I like to try and do is, even though I do shoot a lot of days that are singular gun days, I try and rotate the guns a little bit so that ultimately, um, they're getting an average wear between them and that they are still looking the same. Nothing worse than having a pair of guns in a gun cabinet where one has got a lovely old patina and the other one is brand new because it's never been used. Of course, the big benefit of having a pair of guns when you're on a game day is if the inevitable happens where a firing pin breaks or you have a problem and you don't have a spare gun with a pair, you've got a spare. I use multi-chokes in my gun. Um, what I tend to do is I box mine up and I actually write on the front what they are, rather than having to try and count the little the little digits on them or try and read them when it's pouring down with rain or whatever it might be, I quickly have just put a little sticker on the front telling me what they are so I can quickly rip them out, change them, pop them back in. So much simpler, guys. So keeping the gun safe, guys, what do we do? For me, um, I use Crutes, um, absolutely fantastic, all handmade products, all uh, heavy bespoke leathers uh, in a choice of designs and colors and so forth and so forth. So I have a single gun slip. I also have the pair, which is great because it means that ultimately if I am going to a peg that's a, a decent uh, jaunt away from where we're starting, I can put both guns in, put them in the back of the mule, and both guns are with me at all times. So absolutely great. I then use um, a loader's bag, which ultimately carries around 300 cartridges. Um, and with that, if I have got my loader with me, that's absolutely perfect. He tends to wear that round his neck, all kitted out with the cartridges, so it's nice and quick and speedy for me to be, like, be loaded. Um, if I'm shooting without the loader, of course, then what I tend to use is I tend to use my cartridge bag. And with that, um, this carries 275 cartridges, um, and it just means that I can load it up for the day and I don't have to worry about anything else. I don't have to worry about racing back to the car to get another box of cartridges or whatever it might be. Plus, there's also space in there to pop in anything that I do need on the day that I'm out. Ear protection. Huge, huge, huge uh, amount of guns don't wear ear protection, um, which is, tends to be why they can't hear anything when you're at dinner with them. However, for me, I use the in-ears. Um, I use both sets. I use a pair of uh, ambient and I use a pair of electronic. Um, these ones are absolutely great. They've been molded to my ears. Uh, they've got a little valve on there. I don't know if you can actually see that, that you can just move in and out. And what that does is that allows the sound to just be slightly uh, more or slightly less, depending on if you're trying to talk to someone after you've shot or whilst you're shooting, then of course you can flick it down and that just makes it even more um, sort of sound deadening for you. Glasses, eye protection. Um, obviously I wear glasses, so for me, I tend to wear these when I'm shooting I need to to be able to see what I'm shooting um, so I already have the eye protection however when the sun's out and it's absolutely great great weather then obviously there's nothing worse than when you you look up and you can't see what's coming towards you so again guys 
eye protection really really is a must and there's plenty of brands out there from Pila and you know uh, Safe Glasses and all these different brands and they're all different shapes designs colors you can actually have them prescription lens now with the colors that flap down over the lens so again again it's very much a personal preference to what you as a gun would like we've looked at the hardware of shooting the guns the ear defenders the eye protector and all of those types of things what we're now going to talk about is all of the what i call the nice bits not that a gun isn't nice but the nice bits i.e the tweeds as you can see i'm a tweed guy the hospitality and all the extra little bits that for me are essential on a shoot day now one of the things that we have already spoken about in a film before which if you click somewhere around there is cartridges everyone has their own personal choice and preference on those for me personally when i'm shooting game i like to shoot ely zenith but again it's a horse for a course so let's talk hospitality nothing is better on a shoot day than being with your mates outside it's been dry you can enjoy a nice slow gin or some form of flavored gin with a nice cigar as well there's nothing better than enjoying that with your friends especially if you're working in a really high power stressed environment so for me whenever i go shooting i'm always carrying the wicker basket always got a bottle of champagne in it and always got Fox Denton's gin there. Um, I love Fox Denton's, love the flavours they do and they do summer as well as winter flavours. So, you know, check it out. The website is below now. Um, they've got a great selection. In addition to that hospitality and all the things that go with it, of course, you need to make sure you can actually get around when you are shooting. So when I'm in the field, guys, obviously for you guys, most of you anyway, you'll be wearing your wellies, you'll be wearing your walking boots or such like. For me, my footwear is the wheel, is the tire. So for me, what I tend to do is change the wheels that I've got that you see today, and I change them to the slightly wider mountain bike tire, which are air-filled rather than being solid, which allows me then just to have not only a little bit more traction when it is thick mud, but also it just allows me to have a little bit more of a bounce so that when I am reaching for really tall birds, then I'm not on a solid base. I have actually got a little bit of flex, a bit like when you bend your ankle, I suppose. For me also though, I'm, I have to have warm feet. If I've got cold feet, then that's it. The day's finished for me. I hate being cold. So I tend to wear an ankle walking boot. These are a Gore-Tex boot. They're waterproof, they're thermal, and just really comfy. They also give me that extra little bit of added protection on my ankles. So when I am jumping in and out of gaiters, which is seven, eight, 10 times a day when I'm shooting, then if I do hit my ankle on the side of the gaiter or catch it, they just tend to be a little bit more protected. There are two things which I never ever can do without when I'm in the field. My gloves and my cleaning cloth. Both of these are absolutely just imperative for me to have. My gloves, because obviously when I'm pushing around, my hands are gonna get plastered in mud. So I tend to have two pairs of gloves with me, one for pushing so I can get to my peg. And then the second ones, if it is really cold and I want to shoot in gloves, which is rare, I've got a clean pair so then I'm not getting the guns all muddied up. I go through gloves like you would not believe. So for me, the ones that always tend to be the best or I've found to be the best are Bonnet ones. Really, really enjoy those gloves. They're comfy, they're hard wearing, and they just seem to last a bit longer. As I've said, I wouldn't be without my cleaning cloth either. Uh, the reason being is that that's just, again, another great tool where I can just wipe the guns down if they have got wet when I've been shooting, or if I have got mud on me, I can wipe it off and just try and keep as clean as possible. So as you can see, guys, I'm a tweed guy. Now, one of the big things for me about shooting is, like I've already said, it is hospitality. It's about meeting your friends, but it's also about being respectful, not only to the estate, but to the quarry and the day that you've either that paid for or if you're very fortunate you've been invited to and for me that means you dress appropriately the clothes maketh the man as they say so for me 
I'm always dressed in tweeds when I'm shooting. Um, I tend to have plus fours rather than plus twos or breeks because I like mine a little bit longer. I like them to overhang my knee by about four inches, hence the plus four. Um, I always have a formal waistcoat and I always have my shooting gilet. So if it's not a hot day, uh, I tend to wear my shooting gilet. Um, I prefer to wear a shooting gilet when, I'm, when I am shooting, purely because then once I finish shooting and we're going in for dinner afterwards, I can get out my gilet, I can put my formal waistcoat on, and you know, you just feel properly dressed for dinner. Always wear a check shirt, always wear a tie. Um, I tend to try and choose the tie depending on what the day is and the quarry is. So if I'm on a pheasant day, my tie will have a pheasant on it or some form of pheasant, shall we say, pattern. Same for partridge, grouse, or so forth. I'm very fortunate in the fact that um, I wear tailored uh, tweeds purely and simplistically because although there are so many different manufacturers, different companies out there that are making tweeds, you know, there's nothing better than having some that actually fit you exactly and perfectly, especially when you're in a chair. So for me, the back of the trousers are higher so that when I am sat down, they're keeping my back warm. I've obviously got a slightly longer leg because obviously when I'm sat, they're ruching up and so on and so on. And there's lots of different other things that go with it. So if you'd like to see um, a film of how tweeds are made and how our bespoke tweeds are made, specifically Mine, then click on this link somewhere up here about now and that'll take you to the films where we actually follow the tweeds going from the cloth arriving through to the finished article with Sam Henry, Master Tailor at Samuels of Wellingborough. Now, obviously with having bespoke tweeds, you're then left with the dilemma. What hat do you place with your tweeds? Again, I'm really fortunate. I use uh, a fabulous lady, uh, Lisa at Jack and Rose of England, who hand makes me my cats. Um, so she makes me my Baker Boy hats in the same tweed. They're lined. Um, I always have two hats done. And the reason I have two hats done, and you can never have too many hats, is if I'm out shooting and the weather is horrendous, if one gets wet, I've got a dry hat. There is nothing worse than when you're shooting if you've got wet feet and a wet head. So for me, two hats is a must, guys. Uh, I also have uh, uh, another one, which I always carry around, which is a wax one. So if the weather is really, really bad and I decide to go through two caps, I've still got one waterproof one. Now, I've already touched on the subject of keeping my feet warm. Now, for me, it's really, really important. I can't stand shooting if I've got cold feet. So not only do I wear some Gore-Tex thermal boots, but I also wear socks supplied by the Shooting Sock Company. Um, now, I've tried lots of socks over the years, guys. These socks are absolutely super. Uh, really well made, uh, they're handmade, they're, in, they're a British company, a family business, great designs, really good colors. So for me, with my tweeds, I tend to like to want to stand out a little bit, and hence, I've gotta have socks that also stand out. So always use them as a, as a sock company. So guys, we've talked about the hardware, we've talked about the luxury elements, your hospitality, the tweeds, and everything else, and the clothing you might wear. The last thing I wanted to touch base on is, a lot of estates now, following the COVID uh, epidemic, have now started to ask their guns who are shooting there to actually drive themselves around. So not only should you take into account and bear in mind that you're probably gonna need to drive your car around an estate, you also need to make sure that it's gonna get around the estate. So some form of four wheel drive is always worthwhile considering if you are new to shooting or you're gonna start shooting. For you guys who have been shooting years, most of you will already have those. One of the things that I I do with mine and one of the things that I think is just invaluable is I kit mine out for the boys. So, you know, for me, taking the gun dogs with me is a real big part of the day as well. Enjoy watching them do their job, enjoy watching them running around and enjoying themselves as much as obviously picking up the birds and saving me having to wait and push for miles to go collect them. So Animal Transit Boxes kit the truck out for me. Um, they've obviously put the crate in the back. They've obviously got the drawers, which are all laid out with the foam inserts for the guns and cartridges and hospitality and so forth. Guys, this is only a snapshot. There is lots of companies out there that do lots of different things that can aid all of you guys in regards to what you want, whether it be animal boxes, whether it be cars, guns, gun slips and so forth. What I wanted to do today was really just tell you the equipment that I use, my preferred choices of equipment, preferred choices of my partners that I use, because I can guarantee and I can actually stand behind their brands that they are amazing at what they do. 
but you guys have all got choices to make and I appreciate that. The main thing is we're now on the doorstep of the new season. It's going to be an absolutely amazing season. We're going to hopefully stay well away from having another COVID lockdown. Got lots of great days coming guys. So please share, like and subscribe for more content. Please click on the links below and that'll take you to our Instagram and our website. Check them out. Please follow us if you don't already. Guys, we look forward to bringing you lots of great films throughout the year uh, and the rest of the season. Enjoy, stay safe. Come on, get on.